It's called the Payette River National Scenic Byway for a reason. It's that stretch of Highway 55 running between Eagle and New Meadows, which goes north of McCall. It's supposed to be scenic, but if you've driven that road, you've likely noticed certain sections aren't so scenic anymore. Kyle Kirby has noticed this. He asks, why are all the trees dying along Highway 55 this year? Terrible in the Banks area, but I noticed it all the way up to McCall. Is it moths or beetles? If it is, why along the road only? Is it the ice melt chemical that uses that they use during winter times? What else could it be? It's very noticeable and it's quite sad, he says. And this text that says, as I drive north along Highway 55 along the Payette River, I notice lots of dead or dying ponderosa pine trees along the downward slope of the highway. Is the salt or the magnesium chloride killing these trees, which are very good questions? This is what we're talking about, and this is what we saw near Banks this morning. You could see definitely brown trees close to the roadway that are either dying or already dead along Highway 55. So why is this happening? Well, according to John Wallace, he's a district ranger with the U.S. Forest Service, he says location does have a lot to do with it. One, these trees are on the edge of their habitat between the forest and the high desert, which is lower in the valley. As for the other location justifications. We reached out to the forest health group on the forest and they related it to envir environmental impacts such as drought and then which would lead to beetle outbreaks. And then also other factors would be vehicle emissions and road service maintenance products. It would either be whatever Idaho Department of Transportation uses, whether it's ice, whether it's um, any other types of substance that they'd use to control and clear the road from ice. With the drought that we're having right now too, probably gonna lead into more of that than any other factor because it's, it's stressing the trees and making them more susceptible. I've noticed it over the last several years that you see more and more of it. Um, but it's really, I mean, it's odd that it's not everywhere. Um, and I have driven up to Sandpoint and I have seen it all the way up to Sandpoint in isolated locations. So it is odd that it, you know, it's, that it's happening and where it's happening. Basically, location, 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 because they're close to the road where the air isn't the cleanest because of emissions and, of course, what the Idaho Transportation Department uses to manage the highway during the winter. And what they're using, their de-icing product, it's a mixture of salt and magnesium chloride, as you heard of the people who asked, which they say they've been using for the last 10 years. And while they recognize it is important to minimize their impact on the environment and the wildlife, it is the most effective product at keeping roads safe for drivers, they tell us. Okay, so what happens now to the trees that are dying or may already be dead? Well, Wallace says those trees are still pretty solid for at least another year, not in any danger of falling over onto cars or anything like that. Once the needles come off, though, that's when they start to become a hazard. At that point, Forest Service is going to work with ITD to come in and remove those trees, something they've already done at least once this year near Banks.